They scared to come outside. Let's keep this a buck. If it wasn't for Mo3, would this song be as popular as it is? I mean, let's keep it all the way 100. I went back and heard the original song, and it don't even hit the same without Mo3 verses and vocals and ad-libs on it. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up, Rainwater was just on live a few days ago, going off. I mean, going off. I ain't never seen Rainwater this mad. I ain't never seen him actually raise his voice like he just did on his live. Um, OG Bobby Billions, I think that's his name, who made the song Outside. He goes and does a song with the people who rumored, quotation marks, to be connected to Mo 3's killing. It'd be different if this was somebody outside the city, you know. If, if Quavo had did, if Kevin Gates had did a song with Mo 3 and then did a song with Trap Boy Freddy, he ain't got no allegiance, no, he ain't got nothing towards Mo 3. Just, this is business, you know. I feel like inside the city, you know what's going on. So for you to just sneak over there and do a song with the people who, again, rumored, quotation marks, has something to do with his death. You a kind, you a dirty, you a dirty motherfucker. You dirty, and this is part of the reason why all in Mo 3s music, there's a certain tone of people not supporting them, the city not supporting them, the radio won't give them a chance. Uh, these females did them dirty. Call the case for a dude that he. This is why you get songs like "Everybody Ain't Your Friend." This is why you get songs like "Love I Had" or "Won't Let Them" or "Can I Vent" or or what's another one? "Broken Love." This is why you get these songs. For these situations right here, because you have these people who pretend that they, you know, they on your side and that they down for you and they mess with you. But then they go over here to these other dudes and listen, OG Bobby Billions know damn well that he knows exactly what's going on in the city. And it makes it even worse because you, you didn't just go to that side and do a song with anybody. You went over there and did a song with the dude who was just dissing Mo 3's death. I mean, let make it make sense. Mo 3 really put you on the map. You know, and, and it, it kind of leads me to believe that Dallas really never really supported Mo 3 like y'all should have. It seems as if there was always this thing over Mo 3's head when it came to Dallas. He would always talk about it in his interviews. He would always talk about how the city don't want to give him a chance, how the city downed him, how the city talked about him when he would go do back to school bashes. Instead of worried about the positive, they talking about his clothes on. He said he is a certain tone in every song. Now, I'm going to link down the description to this video, and I want y'all to watch it. But my question is, is he disloyal or is it just business? And keep in mind, he knows what's going on in the city. He knows what's going on in the city. In my opinion, you a dirty motherfucker. It's Triller from the 615.